Hello crafty friends, Elaine here. How is everyone doing? How's all my loves out there doing? All my subbies. Oh God, I appreciate you all and your support and your comments and your likes. Guys, you are the ones that make my channel grow. And so, yes, I wanted just to come by, do a craft with me tutorial with you today. And this one is going to be for Global Land. I'm going to do a tutorial for the second die that I picked up with my for my collaboration with them. This is the die here. So much goodies in this die, guys. So many parts. Oh, here is the sample of what it looks like. And so, yeah, so I just wanted to come by and share with you guys on this beautiful die. Look at all the parts it brings. So many decoration parts, just the cutest die ever. And this will be listed with their information on, in my description box with my 10% code of Queen10. So if you're interested in buying anything, use my code Queen10 to get that percentage off. Okay, so guys, this is what the die creates look at this beautiful fry box and um i made this one as uh example of what it looks like and so i did uh cut out the sides here out of i just you know put paper here trimmed it out because i wanted to have some more in the box but um, you can also do that for the outside if you like. You just cut the ends of the die here. You just cut these ends here and then you can put them here. Okay, so this is my beautiful box. I use the uh, Woodland Grove paper. I love that paper. And then I put plant seeds of love and watch them grow. So beautiful, so beautiful this die. I used Wink Estella on the uh, trim here. I did enamel dots and I made this little collage here. I put a two inch circle there and then I made this little um, peach color with the stars. I made that one because I wanted something that would go with the paper collection. So I used this ribbon and just made that collage there something like this guys to give you an idea if you're interested in trying it these are from aliexpress i bought these years ago but i didn't like the way the yellow looked and i did i have colors that are not like this peachy and so i made my own so that's what i used for that little collage there plus i used the Woodland Grove stickers. These are so beautiful, guys, this collection. Um, and then I use the enamel dots. I use peach enamel dots here. And then I use my little heart here. These little hearts are so much fun. See, I got all kinds of colors in this little box. You can get pink, you can get the shiny gold. These are all from AliExpress, and um, and yeah, so I use that. I use the little hearts that I got from Timu. These are so beautiful. These tiny hearts are the ones that are right here on the edges of my lettering. Yes, and I use some of my trim here that I picked up from AliExpress, and this trim brings a lot. Okay, so I use some of that and that's about it <laughs> so then let's get started we're gonna create one together we're gonna make it a little different and so just to save time i cut out all my paper and i just put together all the stuff i did do my little my little collage here okay with a mint color ribbon and glitter gold little um uh punch out here to put this behind it okay so you're gonna need your glue gun you're gonna need maybe your regular glue um, uh, this 
I'm going to use mint enamel dots today for this one. I cut out my box in white cardstock and I cut out my paper. I did it again, okay? The dies only come with these. And then, you know, the the dies come with these cutouts, but it also comes out with this, but I didn't really care for this too much. It would cover up my paper too much, this design here. But you can, if you use plain paper or something, you cut it out, put it like that. But I thought it would cover too much, so I didn't use it. But um, you also got tags and things like that in here that you can use. I didn't use any of those because I want to make it my own. I made my little collage instead. I thought that was super cute. And so... I got my paper cut out here and again what I did inside was you know I just trimmed the outside here so that I can make the inner parts and you can decorate it on the outside too but I didn't do that so let's get started so we're gonna put the box together first and this guys you have to fold here real easy because it has that oval shape so make sure you oval it out the same as the bottom you want to oval it out okay then you bend your sides bend your sides in and there you go and the same with this one you just bend your sides okay and there bend your side then we're going to glue this part here Okay, so we're going to use our Barely Arts glue to do this. This die is so much fun. It is so much fun to put together. And so you just make sure that you got your die corner to corner, okay? You want to make sure you got it corner to corner, okay, guys? And then, you know, just use something to flatten it a little bit. And there you go. Okay. Before you close your box, make sure you put in your inner pieces so you don't struggle uh, trying to get everything out, you know, fold it out, put it in, make sure it's right. I think before you put the sides together, it's easier to just uh, put your inside paper in so like that you can see exactly where you need it to be get your edgings right right here let's see make sure I got it right it's white paper so it's kind of a little hard to see <laughs> but if it's okay if it's right so then just make sure you use your your bone tool or your little roller here like I am to get your sides in there Okay, you can even dec decorate this side, but I didn't because you can't see that, okay? So then you take your box, and you're going to put glue here. And you just even out the bottom pieces, okay? The bottom is what you have to even out, not the top too much. Just even out your bottoms. Make sure your bottoms are, are good, and then you got your top. Okay, guys? There you go. And then let me get my bone folder here because that the roller won't fit in here okay so that's good right there then you do the same to the other side grab my other one here and you do the same thing just even out the bottom and there you go because the bottom is what you want to even out to make sure it closes here so you don't see a gap there okay you don't want to see a gap on the bottom so you want to make sure that it looks good so your box is going to look like this really cute huh and then what we're going to do is we're going to do our outing outing layer here okay I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Yes. So 
always good when it's Friday. Every day is a good day because it's a blessed day, you know, that God wakes us up to. Because every day is not promised. Okay, so go like that. I'm going to bring it a little bit higher. There we go. Right there. And then just take your bone folder and push it down. Stick. Okay, that's awesome right there. Then we're going to do the insides. I like to do the sides because you can see them. At least the sides. The front of the box inside. You can even glue this here, but I didn't cut them for that. I should have, but I can always uh, add them on later. I just wanted the box inside to look cute. So we're gonna take our bone folder again. And guys, these you're gonna uh, cut out yourself by measuring this side and then just cut a smaller piece so that you leave a little white around. Yeah, so cute. I really like it. You fill it up with goodies for your crafty friends. And oh, they're going to love it. They're going to love it. They're going to love it mainly because, you know, you're the crafty friend sending them the goodies. And, you know, they're going to love you for that. Okay. So, we'll just do it again. Make sure you um, do all your insides. Here, let me, let me, hold on one sec. I'm going to pull you up a little bit. My camera is just too close. Here we go, guys. See, are we good there? <laughs> I just pulled you up a little bit because I feel like I'm, like, right on the camera. Okay, so you got your inside and the outside. So then I did cut, oh, where did I put it? Hello, where are you? Don't hide from me. I cut my, my little edgings. Let me see where did I put them. <laughs> I just had them just now. Okay. Where did they go? Oh, sorry guys. They fell on the floor. Oh, I got my fan on low because of the heat. Even though I got the air on, it's still hot. So, okay. Sorry about that, guys. I was wondering where they fell. So I cut these out in gold. I cut them out in pink too. But I don't know. The pink to me looks too pinky. I think the gold will look cute because the paper has gold foil. So I think it will be great with the gold. So we're just going to go with the gold. So cute. So then you take these. You cut one of each out because they're both different sizes. You got this one's larger than the bottom one. Okay, so make sure you cut out two and put the right ones where they go. Okay, so here we go. Look at that. That is so beautiful. That is so, so beautiful. And then you just make sure it's down so it'll stick. And then we'll do this one for the bottom. Now these are optional. You can use them or not use them. I use them because I really like the way the box looks. So guys, you know, these are optional. You decorate it as you want, but the die brings all these beautiful parts that, you know, to make your box look gorgeous. Okay. So I'm going to flatten this one inside because this one's a little bigger. Okay. All right, so now we got our box done. The inside, outside. And again, you can cover this with color with uh, doing the same thing I did with these out here, which maybe later I'll do that. But your trims are done, okay? So, so super cute. Let's get this out the way, save that. Okay, so now we're gonna do our little collage. So I'm going to use my glue gun and I'm going to glue here, put some hot glue on my little thing so it'll stay hot. Let me grab a glue stick here because I'm running. 
running low every time you're doing a video something happens right okay so then you just center it on your, your little circle the reason I put on the circle is because I love the way that you have that outing you know you can see the little gold it's really pretty okay and then uh, we're gonna take some let me see yeah we're gonna take some stickers now make a collage so we're gonna use some of this gold string oh I love this gold string guys this is from Aliexpress and OMG I've used so much of it already and look how much is still in the bag <laughs> So you get your money's worth, and I think it was like a dollar and change. So you might want to, if you're interested, you might want to check Ali out and uh, pick some up. And they have it in pink, they have it in blue, I have it in, in different colors. So, but you know, I, I, um, I move towards the gold. Wait a minute, I gotta even these out. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay. There we go. I just want them to be even so when I when I turn them, they're good to go. Okay, so all I do is just come on guy, you wanna be troubled today. All I do is just twist it around my fingers, you know, and then I just grab it. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's just the backing, and then I just grab the rest of the backing. This one wasn't even. But anyways, so I take it here. And I put a little glue to hold it there in center. Let me grab my finger here. <laughs> oh, guys, this is so wonderful to be doing a craft with me with you guys. I just been doing so many things in my craft room. One day I'm going to do a craft room tour. But yeah, this is uh, so sticky. <laughs> okay, so just gonna push these in just push those in okay so now we're going to use some of the stickers to make a cute collage so we're going to use let's see let's see um let's see we'll use since it's a since it's a uh a minty kind of color we're gonna use um, maybe this picture frame it's so cute we'll do this picture frame it's so cute but on the pictures I like to put this stuff here so that it pops up a little bit you know you always want to pop it up Pop it up so that, you know, it's not so close to the bottom parts. Okay. Put some glue so it'll last longer. And then we're just going to make a little collage here. It's also cute. Actually, yeah, just leave it there. I was going to put it the opposite because I wanted more of the gold to show, but that's okay. All right. So then with the flower, we're going to put, um, hmm. Hmm. I might do this one. I'm liking this butterfly. It's so cute, this butterfly. Look at that. The colors on it. It's so beautiful. I love this paper, guys. If you haven't picked it up, you're missing. You better get it from Joann's now that they are, I don't know, going out of say it, going out of uh, business, or they're reformatting their stores. There's so many stories out there. You don't know what to believe, but my store hasn't closed. It's just a little empty inside, but it hasn't, like, there's no announcement there that they're closing it. So they might just be just, you know, fixing it up or doing something there. So we're going to put this cutie right here. 
Oh, I love this butterfly. So, so cute. Here we go. Pull out. There we go. Oh, that is so cute. So, so cute. See if I can string some of this gold out because I kind of put it opposite and I wanted it to come down. But there you go. Okay, so that is awesome right there. I hope I'm in frame because I keep moving my camera trying to get you guys closer into frame. So we got that one there. Then we're going to do, um, let's see, Life is Better With You. You are pure sunshine. I think I'm going to do Life is better with you yeah I like this one because it, it fills it all up right there so I'm not gonna pop it up I'm not gonna pop it up because it's already gonna stick right here okay I'm gonna put it a little sideways there yeah cute 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 and then we're going to use, um, let's see what else. These are so cute. I'm just loving this. Um, okay, I think I'm going to leave it with those stickers. And then let's put one of these um, little hearts. I love these little hearts. I'm going to put a pink one on this one. These little hearts are so cute, guys. Beautiful, beautiful. So I think I'm going to put it here. Put that little heart there. There we go. And it's looking good. It's looking good. And then we're going to do enamel dots. So, guys, everybody having a great day. I know some people are working, some people are home. Any plans for the weekend? We're going to be going to the lake. We're going to be going to the lake this weekend. Hopefully the weather stays good because <laughs> right now it's, it's high, but it's supposed to be a uh, good Saturday, so we'll see. So then I'm just going to put glue and glue this to my box we're gonna glue it to the box right here make sure it's centered right here okay right here right there see how beautiful that looks guys I mean you can come up with so many of your own ideas us that cra us crafters we always got our own little ideas so then we're just going to put a couple of these little enamel dots there to just bring it out. Let me just grab a couple of these, spread them out. Here we go. I just used the mint because it looks so pretty with the, the color of the ribbon you use, you know. So pretty, so pretty. And I was going to put some other stuff on it, but then I didn't because these holes that are there they're so large that you couldn't put like something smaller in there anything looks good anything you create guys anything you create looks good because you created it always remember you created it so it's beautiful I have some hauls I'm going to do, but I have some D-stash of punches that I want to give out. Get those out of my room. Guys, check out Global Land. I've seen so many beautiful things there. A lot of beautiful dyes and ribbons and just so much goodies. They have ribbon, they have dyes, they have whole bunch of stuff just gotta get on there check them out I'm putting their website in my description box so you can check them out and yeah 
and they are an awesome website. Oops, this one wants to be a, a headache. <laughs> So pretty, so so pretty. Oh, this one wants to be a headache, like I said. <laughs> okay, get off my finger now. Let me just clean this glue up a little bit. All you do is you take a little wipe and clean out your glue a little bit. It's okay, it doesn't matter. It dries clear, so don't worry about if it happens like me, what happened to me just now because it dries clear and you won't be able to see any of that. Okay. And yeah, so here we go. Oh, this one moved out. Okay. So there you go. Okay. So there you go, guys. That is my box. That is my tutorial. I hope you like it. I hope you go check them out and get this little box. And I was thinking, you know, for the little box, I have these embellishments that I have made before. I thought maybe, because this is Will and Grove, I thought maybe I'd just stick something in here. Let me see. You know, just an, an example of what the goodies that you can give out. See, I made these with the Will and Grove paper too. You can just put them in here. My bag don't let me do it because it's too large. So there we go. So you can get send them out to a crafty friend like this with some goodies inside. These little butterflies, you know, you can just stick them. Just an example, just to give you an example. That's not mainly what's going in here, these, but just to give an example. So this is my tutorial. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed this craft with me. Let me know in the comments, guys, um, if you like them. Um, and if you like them, give them a thumbs up. It helps my channel grow. And guys, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I would also subscribe to you. But this this is what I created. And again, all, everything is going to be in my description box, Global Lands um, website, the coupon code, the um, you know the dies will be there. Everything, the links to the dies, everything is going to be there. So guys, I thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Love you all. God bless.